basically the debate is about the bitcoin whether it's um, good for the environment or bad so um bitcoin i would like to uh, put forward some facts bitcoin transaction per bitcoin transaction uses around 21000 kilowatt hours of energy which is roughly what a one us household consumes in 75 days the you know the the the, the electricity needed for uh, to create a a bitcoin requires immense a lot of mining and a lot of and a lot of miners are, yeah, have have you know, have been employed overnight so you can think of the rate of of, of the of mining and um, yeah so since with mining uh, what basically a bitcoin does is um, uh, in just like uh, for example if we have to uh, it's different from banks if we have to transfer money from one from one person to another it has to go from it has to go through a bank a bank approves it and tab ja ke the money goes to another person but what happens in uh, case of bitcoin is when a person transfers money to another person it goes through an, a, a, a it be 10 or 15 computers with that with the number of computers being used think of the amount of electricity that is going to that that is go, it's going to need and um, some uh, facts that uh, i would like to put forward is um a uh, global crypto market is growing from 1.44 billion dollars in 2020 to 1.63 billion dollars in 2021 compound gro- the compound annual growth rate is 12.9% and by 2025 this market will be growing to 2.73 billion dollars which is a compound annual growth rate of 13.8% so we can imagine if it, by 2025 if it's going to grow to through this much think of the coming years think of the number of users that are going to use you know you is going to get in the crypto market you know invest in cryptos so that that's going to crypto mining bitcoin mining consumes about 91 terawatt hours of electricity annually 5. Point, which this this the amount of electricity used would be is the amount is equal to the amount of el- electricity consumed by by finland which uh, the, the population of finland is about 5.5 million annually and it's 0.5% of all the electric con- electricity consumption wo- worldwide so yeah i think this is it. over to the next team please make your opening statement next team or <clears throat> next person yeah uh anyone from your team can make an opening statement you know i mean to say the other person from the proposition no from the opposition team okay so per team okay fine i go then okay so uh i'm basically opposing the fact that crypto should be banned because of energy issues because first of all it's crypto as a whole that we're talking about not bitcoin uh and yeah bitcoin can be a little straining on the environment due to its energy consumption but uh, there are various various other cryptos that are pretty a lot more energy efficient to name a few there is a uh, big green chia and couple more that i have noted down uh solar coin and hedara hashgraph etc these are pretty energy efficient so uh it's not and it's not just about bitcoin anymore it's a lot of cryptocurrencies that are coming into the market and of course crypto is somewhere the way of the future as web3 is only going to be growing and uh, blockchain becomes pretty much a way of life now uh, soon we probably will be living half our lives in the metaverse and normal money isn't going to work there is it it's just crypto that's going to work so of course it's still in the baby stages it's still pretty initial and pretty uh, um not really come to its full potential yet we've not even seen 1% of it but of course with time i guess every crypto will have to adapt in order to be energy efficient they can't just of course put a strain on the environment no one wants to <laughs> no one wants the world to end so uh of course with time the energy efficiency of even some of the cryptos that are not energy efficient right now will increase and uh, i stand by the fact that of course there should not be any sort of ban or concern about right now at least about 
you know the energy kind of thing of about crypto because uh, it's not even reached its peak yet and nowhere close to it and uh, like my teammate to add a few points right now in my statements yeah so basically coming to the energy efficiency point uh, other small countries like indonesia and vietnam we go to see they have their own mining systems so the energy efficiency of energy marika uh, hold on uh, in the opening speeches uh, the sides only get to nominate one speaker okay yeah so oh, i didn't know that okay cool uh okay, so we can I, now move on and the opposition team can ask one question to the proposition team yeah uh, i think my one question would be shawn why did you just speak about bitcoin when it's no longer the only currency that's in the market yeah it is no longer the only currency but if you take uh, for example um, you know single blockchain of ethereum a single blockchain transaction of ethereum is equal to the energy consumption of of several thousand of visa cards several thousand of what visa cards i'm not aware yeah because every visa card transaction you do it it consumes electricity so it uses fossil oh, fuels oh this is a credit card okay fine ah, yeah so it uses fossil fuels so we we are totally dependent on fossil fuels we can't depend on renewable energy first of all shawn it's not just fossil fuels that provide energy anymore hydro yeah, energy solar is going to only become better in the future yes but for this we need fossil fuels and a lot of fossil fuels no precisely not anything can give you energy why do you only use fossil fuels you don't need to only use fossil fuels and again it's not just ethereum and bitcoin so uh, all right the uh, proposition team can now ask their question to the opposition Uh, okay so utkrist mentioned that these are this is just the beginning and uh, these are just the baby steps that he mentioned about but uh, do you know the impact that these even these baby steps are having on the environment right now where where like people we ha- they have come to a stage that so much so use of uh, cryptocurrency mining has caused them to declare emergencies on their states because of the energy crisis they are facing and they are need they are required to import electricity from outside and elsewhere places to, to... I haven't heard of it. Yeah, I have um, I like to add a point uh, to what she said. She said um, yes, that is true since a uh, country Kosovo which is uh, somewhere around near Russia, I don't exactly know, but um, it's a part of Europe. yeah it's 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 a really cold country and they recently banned mining of cryptocurrencies in order to save electricity because this had created an energy crisis and and and, and production of energy they couldn't produce more energy because of this so and, and a similar example is iran they even had to ban crypto because of production outrages so if i answer your question i will talk specifically about india right now for this energy efficiency wala biggest issue i think our lawyer who's viraj gupta he has passed a bill saying that all the issues made be regarding the legal cyber system or the energy energy related issues will get sure, surely sorted out soon so since he said that Uh, these are the baby steps so baby steps are surely i know they are creating a lot of impact but with coming time all these issues are also going to get sorted so i think that energy efficiency wala issue is sorted as far as india is concerned right now and it's not just india crypto very soon is going to is already planning on switching to renewable energy sources going reducing its carbon footprint from fossil fuels there are various mm-hmm. articles online about that so i'm sure and how would you 
but how would we switch to renewable because renewable energy accounts for about 12.6% of the total us energy consumption which is recorded in 2020 and in renewable yeah. energy is really expensive so how are you going to cover it with renewable energy that is development that is progress with a few years i'm sure it is going to go up only because of course it's not just cryptocurrency that's causing uh, environmental damage is it humans are getting more aware in all all areas give it a few years it's going to only and because there's no other option now if you see where the world is going towards the metaverse and stuff how else are you going to live there is still time for that metaverse would come in maybe in the next yeah, 10 there's years there's time for this also Right. So there's time for this also. It's not going to happen overnight. I right know, now, but yes, it might be an five energy. years. Like, as I gave you the example, by 2025, the market will be growing to 2.73 billion dollars. Think of the amount of users coming on to use crypto. So 2025 is three years away. There can be a lot of developments in the progress. Exactly, in, in three the... years away. If you're thinking of a metaverse, which is ten years away, it's almost three no, times. It's already uh, there, Sean. On the question, uh, the there, opposition, but... uh, Sean, please. Uh, yeah. So the opposition now will ask a question. Yeah, the I question think is. it was us who asked the question last time. No, so it was they're... them who asked it. But my question is the same. He, Sean, Sean is saying metaverse is ten years away. It's already there. It's already existing. It's a person already existing. had a thing on the metaverse a month back. But tell me, how many people are using it? Of course, it's less, but how many people are using crypto? Many people. Many people have started joining. Almost, I don't have the exact data, but yeah, it's a very idea. Yeah, so so people will use metaverse, people will use crypto, it will go simultaneously only. It's not going to be, there's there's no use of one without the other, basically. It's 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 a, what do you call it? It's like a environment in this world. Both have to work in tandem. I guess that's all I have to say. Okay, so uh, does the proposition have any uh, question now? Yes, I have a question. So Utkrit mentioned about the en uh, the energy efficiency cryptocurrencies that are like emerging. So how much of it is into use and how much of like uh, how much of good is it doing? Like over the normal cryptocurrency mining, how much of the energy efficient cryptocurrencies are like doing good to the environment and how many of it is being used by people? I would say it's not doing good because it's still not switched to the renewable sources as it will in the future, but they're definitely doing better than what is uh, what like Bitcoin, etc. are doing. And secondly, uh, how would you, you're asking me how many people actually use those energy efficient cryptos? How many people actually use the non-energy efficient cryptos anyway? Might be little more, but do you, I think it's Obviously, still- Obviously, majority of the people use uh, cryptocurrency mining and they do, are not aware of the energy efficiency cryptocurrency. Because if it if they were aware, then we would have not faced energy, uh, energy crisis at the first. Yeah, people- People are facing energy crisis because the crypto mining is going on from a few years and the first few cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum are not very energy efficient. These things are still relatively new. Awareness is less, but it's going to spread, isn't it? So you are uh, talking about that these things will happen in near future, but... Near future and uh, the energy efficient, the ones that I mentioned... Well, let me complete, wait now, wait now, let me complete. I'm saying that you are talking about... Uh, that these things will happen and these things will Im be implemented in near future. But what about the problems and crisis that the people are facing right now? Look, what the problem is already there. We can't cry over spilt milk. The problem is there and it's a fact, which is why people are going to switch to the energy efficient ways. And when people switch to the energy efficient ways, these non-energy efficient people, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they have to catch on. They have to do something about it. They, otherwise, their entire concept of their own cryptocurrency is going to drown. So they, of course, will also come to this side of the boat and switch. And then I guess the world will be a better place. Okay, so we have about uh, 1 minute 30 seconds left. Uh, uh, the opposition, do you have any questions right now? No, I don't think so. 
All right. So in that case, uh, uh, sir, should we move forward with the closing remarks? Let's give them one round of closing remarks. Then we'll do the closing statements. Okay. Okay. Sir. So we get quick, uh, quick thirty okay. seconds closing remarks from each side, and then we move on to the closing statements. What's the difference? The difference is that you can add new points in this closing remarks. You can't add anything in the closing statement. Which uh, team is supposed to go first? Yep. Uh, yeah, your team will go first. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to add that with this global pandemic that we are uh, facing, we already, the world has uh, switched on to uh, uh, being online. And uh, there are other things that are also taking place in the, uh, that are happening online uh like uh, like the school uh, like education primarily is is like on an on online online platform and people have been people are using it uh, using internet and computers for that too so uh, like already electric a lot of electricity is already being wasted in all these things because of the pandemic that we are facing so um so like what like is it really necessary for uh, cryptocurrency mining at this point of time? And uh, and uh, the electricity uh, is being, like in major states, electricity is gen being generated from non-renewable sources and it's causing pollution and other has other has hazards. It's the uh, world is still not aware of the renewable uh, sources. So yeah, like he said, it's going to take time, but what about the current situation? How are we going to tackle okay, uh, that? So yeah, the time's up. Uh, the opposition team, your closing statements. Yeah, so basically, yeah. yeah, so basically if we focus on banning cryptocurrency, all the future economic development, which any of the individuals in terms of individuality, if it takes place, then that is going to that is just going to get stopped from flourishing because cryptocurrency will basically stop all the new young blockchain technology, which is going to come up in the later times. So I think stopping cryptocurrency is going to not is not. I would say that it is not an option, basically. So that is my point. Do you have a point, anything Utkrish to say? I don't think I can speak. It's one speaker cutting. Okay. And coming to the other points, I feel cryptocurrency basically right now it is very efficient for others to use it. So basically with coming time again, I'll say that uh, it is going to get more efficient. And since uh, there are also many is issues are also going to get sorted in future. So I feel that uh, if we ban cryptocurrency now at initial levels, if any future good aspects are, if it, of cryptocurrency will will be coming out, uh, those will also get banned. Yeah, so I, I think... want to add if I can, if I'm allowed to. Okay, okay. Can I, uh, Sakshi? Go ahead, Utkash. Yeah, and uh, coming to the entire uh, pandemic situation, uh, pandemic. Yes, it's affecting jobs. It's affecting people's lives. I don't think I there is any reason it's affecting electricity of course yes pandemic is increasing the load on electricity because most of us are working from home that can that also is not valid because before whom we were working in offices and i think that that time the energy consumption was even more so pandemic affecting the energy supply is not really a point as such at all so your entire pandemic argument is totally invalid Uh, all right, so should we close this or we can give them another? We uh, let them go on to their closing statements. All right, so each, each of the teams can make one closing statement supporting your uh, point. And the speaker for this has to be the one who the team member, the one who do. I just have uh, one line to say. In the name of digitization, one should not exploit the environment and over overuse resources. Oh, one second. You opened your site, right? With the opening speech. 
Yes, sir. You don't get to close. But Shreya okay. has to be the one who gets the closing. So, uh, yeah, whatever Sean said, actually, I agree to it, even though it wasn't uh, him, who him who was supposed to say it. But yeah, over exploiting resources just for the sake of because everything is going online is not right. And uh, the basic pro basic needs of people like providing heat during winter, that also is, is to be resolved by importing electricity. That is very very sad case so yeah if these uh things can be contro controlled by any way even if it's banning of crypto cryptocurrency then i think this is this first step is the right step that's it so basically yeah so basically you mean to say that stopping or banning cryptocurrency is a right way right now mm -hmm. So my uh, closing statement will be that this debate, this entire debate just focused on the energy efficiency ka topic. So basically, we have all of us have like just neglected all the other uses of all the other advantages of crypto. So if we consider those other advantages or our coming advantage, the advantages which will be helpful in the future, I think the decision of banning cryptocurrency should not be taken forward. So that's all. All right, over to you, sir. Okay, let's let Sean get that laughter out first. Let's let that happen, then we'll pick up, okay? All right. We should start with the side proposition started pretty strong a lot of numbers thrown out of the table and numbers are very difficult to counter you know because they are numbers they are facts they are published so we started off the right way but things went a little awry after that okay now i understand that you guys are fairly new at this i'm assuming that anyway but i'm still going to impose all the penalties that i should be imposing as an adjudicator both sides slapsed into Hindi at one point of time. Sean did, so did Sanika. I'm deducting points for that. Okay. Uh, besides that, the flow of the debate itself was a little weird because, again, you weren't really conversant with the format itself. I'm still deducting points for that, but don't worry because both sides get penalized for that. So that normalizes everything. Okay. As far as specific things go, though. I feel like the debate became more about energy conservation and efficiency rather than the enormous amount of other issues that crypto brings to the table. So somewhere in there, pollution got mentioned, but it was a byproduct of energy consumption rather than pollution by itself. There's a serious e-waste issue that the world is facing, and crypto is contributing to that. There's a serious crunch or gamers know what i'm talking about right there's a serious crunch of like uh, good gaming cards being not available that's because the miners are holding all the cards that is causing its own financial issue and there are a bunch of other issues as well none of those got mentioned in this it became about energy efficiency and conservation even so that was just one thing that was mentioned right could have been a bunch of other things uh, some things that I thought were particularly noteworthy was side opposition bringing up the fact about there being plenty of other cryptos besides Bitcoin and side proposition not really having a very good rebuttal for that. Okay, But at the same time, as I said in the beginning, side proposition started off very strong with a bunch of numbers and side opposition didn't really have any good rebuttals for that. Okay. Somewhere in the closing statement, Sanika spoke about all the enormous benefits that crypto brings to the table. That could have been a very interesting constructive during the main debate session. But since she brought it up in the closing statement, I might have to deduct scores there because you're not supposed to bring up new constructives in the closing statement. All right. 
So a lot of good stuff here. It's just that because the format itself is a little novel to you all, a bunch of hurdles along the way. Okay. I'll just say one more thing. One of you two, as in one of these teams, had the better constructives. The other team had the better rebuttals. I'm not telling you which is which. You can just go through the flow of this later on and figure out for yourself. Okay. But if this was the first time you guys were debating in like this kind of platform, you did a really good job considering the topic at hand. Yeah. Keep that up, guys. Back to you, Sakshi. 